baby teething symptoms. If you're a parent, grandparent, or caregiver, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Every infant and toddler has to go through baby teething symptoms. And in a lot of cases, they make both the baby and the family feel absolutely miserable. Not just because your baby feels bad and it's so sad, but because parents may struggle with trying to help their infant feel better or even sleep through the night. Hello everyone, I'm Joyce the Dentist and mom of a two-year-old, so I know just how hard teething can be for both baby and parent. I spent hours researching teething for my own sake and $350,000 in dental school learning about all things tooth related so that you don't have to. Every infant and toddler has to go through this painful, miserable stage of development, not just once, twice, or three times, but enough for 24 different teeth to erupt. <laughs> to make matters sound even worse, baby teething symptoms can start around six months of age and consistently continue off and on until your toddler is about two years old. We're talking about one to one and a half years of continued teething. Depending on what stage your baby's at during their tooth eruption cycle, their symptoms will vary. Being able to recognize the most common warning signs can help you know whether it's just teething or something more serious that requires a trip to the doctor's office. Since each symptom is different, you'll also want to handle it different for your child. Some may be more prone to one or two of these symptoms, while another baby is prone to the others. Let's jump right in. What symptoms are normal when a baby or toddler is teething? Symptom number one, drooling, and lots of it. Your baby will probably have an entire shirt that's soaked nonstop along the neckline or down the front. They may also have saliva that's constantly dripping down their chin and hiding in their little neck folds. Since teething stimulates saliva production, babies tend to drool a lot more than normal. Most of the time, you can just keep a small cloth or burping rag handy to wipe away the drool. Some parents keep their baby in a bib if the drooling is excessive. Symptom two, cranky behavior. Almost every baby gets fussy when they're teething. Right before the teeth come in, there will be a lot of pressure they feel. Plus, the sharp edges of the teeth literally press their way through the gum tissues to create an opening. It's completely natural to see why this may make your baby cry or fuss more. Good news is that this phase of erupting baby teeth is short-lived and tends to be over within about a week. Experts who have sat down and measured tooth eruption patterns have shown that it takes about eight days total for a tooth to erupt from start to finish. So if your baby starts getting fussy, you might be seeing a tooth pop through in the next three to four days. So cuddle your baby and comfort them like you normally would. You can also provide natural pain relief by giving them a chilled teething ring, which helps gently stimulate and numb their gums while they chew on it. Symptom three is chewing. Physically chewing on things helps teeth cut through the gums and even relieve the pain or sore gum tissues where that tooth is erupting. Remember the chilled teething ring I just mentioned? At this point, your baby or toddler is probably chewing on anything and everything they can get their hands on, or maybe their hands themselves. Keep clean toys, clean damp washcloths, and teething rings available for your baby to chew on. They're just working those cute little teeth into their smiles. As a tip, the cooler it is, the more it helps. Just don't make it so cold that it's frozen. Symptom four, diet changes. Your baby or toddler may seem a little off when it comes to meal times. Maybe they don't want to eat much or avoid foods that they usually like. When your baby exhibits obvious teething symptoms, they may do better with softer food textures that require little to no chewing, such as yogurt, applesauce, baby cereal, etc. Some babies like to nurse or take a bottle more often than normal, which is great because it also helps comfort them. And speaking of diet changes, some babies may get tummy issues or a little diarrhea while they're teething. These symptoms are temporary and technically not due to teething, but they all seem to be interrelated. Maybe it's from chewing on everything within reach. And finally, symptom number five, difficulty sleeping. Your baby may not be taking as long to nap as they usually do, or maybe putting them down at night seems almost impossible. Teething symptoms could throw off their entire sleep cycle and may mean some tiring nights for everyone at home. Again, this is temporary, thankfully. A nice, relaxing bedtime routine such as a lavender bath, singing a song, and rocking together while reading a book can help transition your toddler into bedtime more easily. If your baby's teething symptoms are severe, such as extreme irritability or being in pain, or they last for more than seven to 10 days, 
consider seeing your family or pediatric dentist for a professional opinion. Additionally, you can talk to your pediatrician about over-the-counter pain relievers, although many experts will tell you that your baby shouldn't need them in most cases. Due to recent FDA warnings, you also want to steer clear of some popular over-the-counter teething medications. Rest assured, once you get through this stage, your toddler and preschooler will finally have a beautiful set of teeth to smile back at you, and it will all be worth it. I'm Joyce the Dentist, smile smarter everyone. Bye.